James did his best, but he was exhausted when they reached Edward's station. Luckily, Douglas was there. Help me up the hill, please, panted James. These freight cars are playing tricks. We'll show them, said Douglas. Slowly but surely, the snorting engines forced the freight cars up the hill. But James was losing steam. I can't do it! I can't do it! Leave it to me, shouted Douglas. The conductor was anxious. Go steady! The van's breaking! The van was in pieces. No one had been hurt, and soon Edward came to clear the mess. Sir Topham Hatt was on board. I might have known it would be Douglas, he said. Douglas was grand, sir, said Edward. James had no steam left, but Douglas worked hard enough for three. I heard him from my yard. Two would have been enough, said Sir Topham Hatt. I want to be fair, Douglas, but I don't know. I really don't know. Sir Topham Hatt was making up his mind about which engine to send away, but that's another story. <laughs>